Okay, a little video. Now this is uh, a little bit deja vu. Now I have previously covered that, uh, I think this one here was with the LEDs have failed. Was it? Oh no, it's not on the actual camera failed. That's right, it's a different camera. Now, I purchased these ones here some time ago. I don't know, about a year ago now. I expect maybe, nah, probably less than that. Eight months. I purchased two of them. Now, it's the first one here, which actually failed again. Right, this one, the camera stopped working. LEDs will work, but the camera's not working. This one here, which I then replaced it with, um, which I, put, I purchased them both at the same time, same thing happened, has happened just now. Like yesterday, that camera stopped working, LEDs still work. Okay, so it's like these cameras and these are dodgy and they don't seem to work as well as they should. So let's just pull this thing apart and have a look. Now, um, together or I don't know let's find out oh also today it's brought to you by rice crackers and hummus mm. right. now hmm nice now yep clips together here we go Now, as is often the case, it's a separate PCB for the um, LED section. Let's pop those screws out. Well, what you're hoping to do is, this one here has got the camera works. This is my original one, one of my original ones. The camera works, but all the LEDs are, are filing. I've got, I've got about four left or something. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is actually swap over the LED sections with this camera onto that one there. And restore that one to normal operation. Now this one here has died. Um, why it's died, I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Let's see if I can see anything. I did go fix the camera, but I think I've been here before and decided too hard. <laughs> right. Uh, thought I couldn't see anything wrong, rather. Let's have a look. Well, nothing obvious, nothing burnt. Um, visually, it all looks fine. Nothing obvious there. So it's probably just crap design, or maybe this crystal here has failed. I've been mean, sitting across that part, which is probably not the best thing to be doing. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is a mystery. So, they were cheap, so it's gone. Um, more food. Right. So, let's look at the original one and see if I can uh, transplant this into the original. Now it's got different mountings. There was this one's got the socket on it. Actually, nice no, size that one. That's all right. Mountings are different, but the board looks suspicious, isn't it? Looks like the same board, or at least a copy of the same board. So I'm going to swap those LED segments around and reinstate this camera. So it's um, go from there. Let's move this crap out of the way from the other one. Which may or may not get put back together. Uh, I would have thought that the security cameras would, would fail this easily, you know. It's like, well, it's pretty poor in that regard. Look at that. This actually doesn't come through there. It's a strange assembly technique. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Probably should have paused that, but never mind. Right. So 
hoping I can just uh, pop the set and have it all be nice and easy. I'm quite sure how that's attached to there actually. Is it? Oh yeah, okay. Right, now I see what's going on. Now I see, okay. So, those are just standoffs. So these are what's holding the whole assembly in. Those two screws. Oh, there's a bug in there. This one's nice. Let's go with that. Um, so, okay, it's got a collar, a foam collar on it. Let's try and push that through. There we go. Right. So let's get these standoffs and put them on this other one in the same places. Hopefully I can slide out those slots. Nah, no such luck. Oh, never mind. Come on, undo you. Okay. One failed module. One not failed module. Hopefully it all lines up together properly. Sure, I didn't slot those actually. You've got holes in, but not You've got double drillings. If I'd slotted them, it would have been a little bit easier for me to, to get part of it. Never mind. Probably doesn't matter which one I've got to stand off on, it's got four posts on the corners of it anyway. Um, so it probably doesn't actually matter, it's just probably um, a case of the manufacturing company thinking three is good enough let's just leave it at that and save 25% of the cost of these standoffs wouldn't surprise me and to be honest there's probably nothing wrong with doing that either so anyway there was no traces there actually just in case that's why through there come on get in close I've got to try and line things up one handed it's always fun right here we go So at least this will get me this camera working again. I actually currently have an issue with one of my other cameras. It keeps coming on and off. I think it's the cable. I've changed the input around on the um, recording unit on a DVR. And um, it still doesn't work. And uh, gee, look at these. Interesting. Do you know what I noticed from this? Maybe. Oh no. No, it's different. This is a copy of this one. Um, also, I was looking at the moulding marks, thinking it's maybe that this is a um, later version of this tool which has been modified. But no, it's not the case, so this needs a bit of a clean. Let's use this, that's what I do. Just on, on the LED section. Good enough. Let's put it back together. Put the little bush back in there. That's obviously there to uh, try and stop some of the glare from the LEDs getting through to the actual camera lens. Right. Now see those ones which had the screws in them actually split. These screws must be too big. All have been over tightened. So we'll see. Alright. 
So here we go. One repaired camera. Pop it back together again, be good. That turns, there we go, twists into place. Alright. So that's repaired. So uh, yeah, it's just odd that these other ones here have, have uh, failed. I mean, they actually had quite like a, uh, a little boot wing menu system, which is this little controller here could change and you could adjust some of the internal settings on the actual camera system, which I'm guessing are inside that chip there. Um, but yeah, they just died. So I don't know what the still is there. Which I don't know which part's failed. There's no obvious failures that I saw on the previous one when I pulled that one apart. So. Yeah, the parts now. <laughs> so it's coming handy. I've used the LEDs to repair this other camera. Um, so we'll go from there. All right, catch you later. Um, hope you found it interesting and you know, interchangeable parts. Always handy. Uh, catch you later. Have a good one.